Hi friends, I hope you're doing well. Today, I'm so excited about today's video because over on Instagram a while ago, I asked you all what brands you were into and the top two brands were Rare Beauty and Charlotte Tilbury. I already filmed a full face of Rare Beauty, which I'll have linked down below, but today I'm gonna do a full face of Charlotte Tilbury, which I've done before, so that's why I was like hesitant to do it. But I looked at my channel and the last time I did one was two years ago, which means it's time for another one, first of all. Second of all, there's so many more products that have launched since I filmed that video. I'm thrilled. Yes, I matched my shirt to the Charlotte Tilbury brand as best I could. I'm just that excited. Oh, I realized I didn't get a foundation. Hold please. I have so many Charlotte Tilbury products sitting out in front of me, so many of which I bought myself. I have loved Charlotte Tilbury since I first tried her brand. And then it's been a dream come true since because I have received PR as well from them, which is just seriously magical. Um, but it's a brand that I feel like is so classic, so timeless, so approachable and so craveable, honestly. Like I get sold by every single thing they launch every single time. So let's get right into it. I'm gonna start off with skin prep because I feel like every time I watch a Charlotte Tilbury tutorial, skin prep is like their main thing. They usually spend a lot of time with that. So we're gonna start off with a serum. This is the Charlotte Magic Serum Crystal Elixir. I'm just gonna use a little bit of this because I have quite a few products that I'm gonna be kind of layering on top of each other. And I don't wanna like overdo it. I mean, I want my skin to look really nice, but I don't want it to look too crazy. So I'm just gonna start with that all over the skin. We also have the famous Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. Um, I also have the Magic Cream Light. I'm trying to figure out which one to use. I think because I wanna layer quite a few things. I'm gonna stick with the Magic Cream Light. It's just a little bit more of a lighter weight version of the iconic Magic Cream. So I'm just gonna take that and really massage it into the skin. And even though it says it's lightweight, it actually has quite a bit of um, hydration to it, which is nice. We're gonna go around the eyes with the Magic Eye Rescue from Charlotte Tilbury. This is more of a balmy kind of a product. And honestly, I don't get as much use out of this as I would like to. I feel like a little bit goes quite a long way. So I'm just gonna go around the eye area with this. And I'm always in the habit of taking my eye cream and putting it in the smile lines. Is that weird? I do that at night. I don't know why, I just feel like in my mind it will help, I don't know. Could be completely making that up, but okay. So the eyes look so radiant and hydrated. I now am gonna take the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Lip Oil Crystal Elixir, and we're gonna use this to really just hydrate the lips before we go into makeup. Okay, that feels nice. It's been a while since I've used that. Now, I don't really have a look planned. I'm just kind of going with the flow. Um, but I do know I wanna take the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter and apply this to the outside of the face. Um, this is the shade Light 2. So I'm just gonna take that and focus it on the outside. Well, I always say that and then I put some down the center of the face too. And I'm just gonna buff that in with a foundation brush. I love doing one brand tutorials because I love to see what the brand is capable of. And it's so funny because I own like a lot of products from a lot of brands, but I don't always sit down and do a full face of one brand, which I think is just exciting. I don't know, I love it. So we're gonna go into foundation. Um, I have the beautiful skin foundation. I realized I grabbed the wrong color. Hold on. <laughs> so my best match is actually um, Three Cool. They didn't have this foundation available when I did my video last. So I'm excited to use this. I also have the Airbrush Flawless Foundation. Since it's a full face, I feel like it's extra, but I kind of want to use both. I'm gonna apply this on the outside and this in the center of the face. So we're gonna start off with the Beautiful Skin Foundation, which is a more radiant foundation. I actually really like this one. And I'm gonna focus that on the outside of the face because I don't get oily on the outside of my face. So I don't mind if I have a little bit more glow. I actually like that. But the center of my face, on the other hand, gets a little more dewy throughout the day. So I figured applying the um, airbrush foundation in the center will give me more like a matte finish, which is what I want. You can see how fresh that looks on the skin. It's really pretty. And even though it's more dewy, it actually does have great longevity. And I do wear it all by itself most of the time. I don't usually do this with my foundations, but we're going extra today because it's Charlotte Tilbury. So this is the shade three neutral in the airbrush foundation. And I'm just gonna take that and go in the center of the face. I'm just using the same brush for this, making sure to blend that out into the other foundation. 
feel like I might have applied a little too much. So I'm taking my sponge to kind of pick up the excess and I'm gonna use that to just press everything into the skin. And you'll notice I didn't bring the foundation too close to the eye because we're gonna use concealer. And I realized I have a corrector from Charlotte Tilbury too. I keep going back to like my collection to grab more things. So one second. I feel like I could use a lighter shade in this, at least right now. I mean, it's the dead of winter, so my skin is very fair. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna go into the under eyes. I'm gonna be taking the under eye corrector in the shade Fair, which is like this really pretty peachy color. And I'm gonna use that with a brush and just kind of pat that underneath the eyes where I want it to be more bright. I also get some discoloration in the corner of my eye, so I'm gonna take it in there and kind of feather what's left across the eyelid. Okay, once that's applied with the brush, I am gonna take my sponge and press that into the skin. So Charlotte Tilbury recently launched um, their concealers, which I feel is so much better than their previous concealer formula that they had, which I think they might still sell. Here it is. It's the Beautiful Skin Radiant Concealer. I wear the shade Too Fair. I love this concealer formula. It's actually my current go-to. It sits on my desk. I absolutely love it. So I'm just gonna dot that underneath the eyes and we'll do a little bit of like highlight down the center of the face too. I'm planning on going pretty glam with the rest of the makeup. So I want the complexion to look nice and sculpted. So I'm just gonna press that in with my sponge. All right, next we're gonna sculpt the face. I have two different options and I think I might use the one that I didn't use in my last video or maybe mix them. So I'm sure we're all familiar with the Hollywood contour wand, but also I really love this beautiful skin bronzer. So maybe I'll bronze the skin with this first and maybe add the contour wand on top if I feel like I need it. So you can tell this is kind of <laughs> messy, but I love it so much. This is the shade Fair. I'm just gonna take that on a large brush. And we're gonna start to sculpt the face with this, kind of using pressing motion so I don't lift up any of the coverage. Okay, and then I'm gonna take some into the forehead, making sure to kind of get it in the hairline so it looks natural. Also gonna make sure to kind of go along the jawline and down the neck. I'm also gonna take the edge of the brush and just go down the sides of the nose and kind of into the eyelid with the rest. Okay, well that product is so pretty. It had been way too long since I've used that and I'm really happy to see it back on my face and I'm reminded why I like that so much. I'm just gonna take my foundation brush and kind of buff over the edges so that there's a really seamless blend between foundation, concealer, and the cream bronzer. And now I'm just taking my sponge and pressing that all in. Gorge, okay. So they actually did not have a loose powder anymore. I actually still have the old powder, but since you can't get it, I'm not gonna use it. Um, I'm hoping that they're working on launching a new one because I feel like they would absolutely kill it with a more airbrushed setting powder. Their first loose setting powder is definitely more um, luminous. It's actually really luminous. So anyways, I'm just gonna take the Laura Mercier powder because I feel like that's a classic. I'm just gonna take some of that and press it underneath the eyes. I'm gonna press it in the center of the face. They do have their pressed airbrush powder, obviously, which I know a lot of people will use on its own to set, but I am somebody who always needs a loose translucent powder, no matter what makeup look I'm doing. I'm just taking a brush and lightly setting the outside of the face now. I'm also pressing some powder through the brows. That way my brow pencil will stick a little better. All right, we're gonna bounce around a little bit. I'm gonna go into some powder bronzer. I like to do this because I like to kind of throw it into the brows a little bit. So I like to do it before I do my brows. So here is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer in the shade Fair, which is actually a really super light bronzer shade, which I like because I'm heavy handed with bronzer. And I'm also somebody who likes to use a cream contour and a powder. So I think it's nice to have something that's a little bit more forgiving of a color for me so that I can really just buff it into the skin after I set my face and it's not gonna look like too much. So I'm just gonna kind of throw some bronzer right over top of where we just applied the cream. Okay, now we're gonna fill in the brows. I actually really do like this brow pencil from them. It's the Brow Cheat and I have mine in the shade Medium Brown. So I'm just gonna fill in my brows really quickly. Okay, brows are done. For eyes, I wanted to use an eyeshadow palette, one of their larger palettes. Um, but I was looking on their website and a lot of the palettes like this are limited edition except for this one. I actually don't think I've used this. I haven't. Okay, so this is the Instant Eye Palette, the Smoky Eyes Are Forever, and it looks like this. So it's kind of broken up into a few different sections, which makes it really easy to create a look. So we have Love Eyes, Forever Eyes, Happy Eyes, and Confident Eyes. Of course, you can mix and match with these palettes. You don't have to just go with the three they have laid out for you. So I'm gonna start off with this brown. 
that's in the Power Eyes section. And I'm gonna start to use this as my transition shade while I try to think about what exactly I wanna do with my eyes. I'm feeling like doing something kind of fun because I feel like when it comes to Charlotte Tilbury looks, a lot of times it's very much pillow talk. So you have that like kind of mauve purple and pink, which I love, okay? I live for a good monochromatic pink look, but I'm thinking maybe we should do something a little bit different. Well, that color is gorgeous. It's perfect for like a contoured kind of an eye, which now I'm gonna take that same color on a smaller brush, tap off the excess and run it along the lower lash line. <laughs> I'm wearing red, so I'm wondering if I do green on the eyes, is that gonna be like Christmassy? Possibly. Well, it's more like a army green though. I'm kind of wanting to. I'm kind of wanting to use some of those greens. Hmm, or happy eyes would match my shirt really well. I'm just gonna dive in. We're gonna go into this kind of metallic green color right here in the power eyes section as well. Actually, this is more like a green bronze, kind of an interesting color. I'm just gonna start pressing that on the outer portion of the lid, not the very edge because I might smoke it out with a deeper color in a minute. Ooh, this is cool. So it kind of pulls green, but it's not an unwearable type of a green. It's actually more bronze with a green flip, which I really like. So I'm just kind of pressing that into the eyes right here. That's gorgeous. Okay, ooh. I'm just continuing to layer that because I really love that color. But then I wanna make sure we've got some good definition on the outer edge. So I'm gonna take the brown in the confident eyes. It's a really nice deep brown. And I'm gonna work that into the outer corner. Hmm, I feel like this was the wrong brush to use. I got lazy. I'll get something a little more precise. I'm just kind of feathering that into the corner and then taking what's left and going into the crease with that color as well. I'm also taking that nice brown color and going along the outer edge of the lower lash line. Now I'm just taking some of that gorgeous green that we used in the center of the top lid, going along the center of the lower lash line to kind of mimic it. And then I'm going back in with that lighter brown that we started out with in the transition. And I'm just kind of feathering that all around the eye. So this inner corner is where we can really kind of play around. You know what? I think we should just stick with green. Why not? It's a fun color. We're gonna take the center color in Power Eyes and I'm just gonna apply that to the inner portion of the lid. I think that's such a cool color. I do want to have a little bit of a pop and I like these sparkly colors from Charlotte. I think this is more of a topper, yeah. So we're gonna take the kind of champagne color from the Love Eyes section and I'm just gonna press that over top of the green, which it looks like it has a little bit of a base, so it kind of softened the green a little bit, but I still think it's super pretty. Okay, I'm just dusting away any fallout under the eyes. And now I wanna take a eyeliner, which I think we should go with this green. I love these double-sided eyeliners so much. Um, this is the, what's it called specifically? Green Lights Metallic one. The, oh wait, it's the Eye Color Magic Liner Duos. So this side has like a matte green, which I think we should use on the very edge of the eye. So I'm just gonna start in the center and then move this out to the edge. I'm not gonna wing it out or anything like that. I'm just gonna stop it at the very corner of the eye. And then I'm gonna take the metallic half, which is such a pretty color. Look at this, I just have to swatch it for you guys. Maybe I'll swatch the matte green as well because it's just so pretty. It almost has like a blue undertone, which I think is stunning. So there's the eyeliner swatched. So now we're gonna take the metallic side. This is where I'm gonna kind of draw along the lower lash line in the inner corner a bit. And then I am gonna go into the inner corner of the top lid and kind of connect it to the matte color on the outer edge. And then something tells me that this matte color in the waterline is gonna look pretty, so let's try it. It's like a blue green, it is so pretty. If you have blue or green in your eyes, this pencil, holy smokes, it's gonna make that color really, really pop. Okay, I'm loving this eye look. We're gonna put on some mascara. So I'm gonna take the Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes Mascara, which I honestly, I don't use that often. I feel like it's either smudges or flakes on me and I can't remember, but it's one of the two because I just don't use it that much. Although I really wanna try the Pillow Talk color. Ooh, I just stabbed my eye. It's like a burgundy shade and I just feel like that would be so fun to play with. But yeah, I feel like this formula doesn't work on me because I don't use it, but I can't remember because it's been so long. So I'm just gonna apply this to the top and bottom lashes. Like obviously it applies fine. I think it's a really pretty mascara in that way, but mascaras have to wear really well on me for me to be obsessed with them. I'm just gonna take a little bit of the bronzer actually and just go right underneath the lower lash line to further blend the shadow into like the lower 
under eye area. Well, I'm obsessed with that eyeliner, my goodness. It's been so long since I've used it. The color is gorgeous, especially the matte color in the waterline. Ooh, I love it. Okay, we're gonna kind of hop to some highlighter and they just recently launched a highlighter that I've been loving. It's the powder highlighters. This is the Hollywood Glow Glide Face Architect Highlighter. I'm loving the shade Champagne Glow. So I'm gonna take this and use this as my inner corner highlight. I don't feel like an eye look is complete without an inner corner highlight. I'm gonna take what's left and apply that right underneath the highest point of the brows. Okay, and then I'm gonna take that and start to buff it into the high points of the face. I am loving how natural this looks. Even though it's a powder, I feel like it just melts into the skin, especially if your skin's prepped with moisturizer like I did. It just like, turns into a cream almost. That's how it feels to me anyway. And it doesn't look like, whoa, she's wearing highlighter. It just looks like my skin is glowing. And that's what I love about this right now. So pretty. I went down the center of the face a bit too. Cupid's bow, a bit above the brow. Now it's time for lips. I actually really like this about Charlotte Tilbury. If I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure this is from her. She likes to do the lip first, then the blush. So I'm just wiping off any foundation on the lips. Hmm, what lip to do? Okay, let's see. I've got my Charlotte Tilbury <laughs> lip bundle right here of all my lip liners that I love. Let's do something different. I, of course, love Iconic Nude. Look at this. I'm obsessed with it. But should we do like a foxy brown moment? <sighs> should we mix them? Mm, that's extra, but I'm going to now that I said that out loud. Let's take Iconic Nude in the center of the lips. And then ooh, for more of a 90s vibe, let's take foxy brown and create even more dimension on the outer portion of the lips. I'm just using my finger to kind of blend those in. All right, let's choose a lipstick. I grabbed the one that I have displayed with all my Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. I actually have a few more than this. But I'm wondering, should we use like Penelope Pink might be cool with this. I am having fun with this look, I don't know. Oh, that's too bright, but I love this one. Miranda May, Ooh, love that color. Yeah, I don't know. There's just something about Penelope Pink that I'm like really into. So let's apply that all over. And then as always, I like to use my finger to blend the lipstick in really well with the lip liner. Okay, now we apply the blush. So um, I'm really into these new matte beauty blush wands from Charlotte Tilbury and I feel like the shade Pillow Talk will actually look really nice. I actually am getting the most use out of, where did I put it? This shade right here, which is Pink Pop, which I feel like might be too bright for this look. Maybe not, maybe we'll add a little bit in the end. I find that these apply really well with a brush. So let's see. I'm just gonna get a little bit of product out on the back of my hand. See, this color is just, I mean, Pillow Talk is such a good color for everything. I'm just gonna pick that up on a brush. This one is a Thrive Cosmetics brush. I'm just gonna start kind of stamping that onto the cheeks. I like to do it after my highlighter because I just feel like it makes it look so cohesive in the end. Whoa, I accidentally put way too much on the back of my hand, dang it. Oh, I did not mean to waste that much product. No. All right, I'm picking up a little bit more and applying it to this side of the face. And I do find that they really apply well over top of powders. But again, I would recommend using a brush like this if you've set your face. I mean, my favorite way to apply it is with a brush, whether I have a cream underneath or a powder underneath. But when you have a cream, I think you can apply it directly to the face and it's not gonna mess anything up. And honestly, I've tried it applying directly to the face with powder underneath um, and it didn't really botch it too much but I just like the precision of a brush. I'm taking what's left and kind of applying it to the forehead and the chin, cross the nose for just kind of like a healthy glow. Okay, now we assess the situation, which means more bronzer. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take my powder bronzer and just go all over the face one more time. And I am taking it down the neck a little bit more because I feel like things look pretty bronzy. So I want it to match. Do a little more on the forehead, a little more on the cheeks, a little more down the sides of the nose. I really wanna pick up the shade medium in this because I feel like there's some situations where I want a little bit of a deeper powder formula. All right, we're going to add some final touches. I'm gonna take this powder, which is newer. This is the Airbrush Brightening Flawless Finish Powder. And I'm gonna take this on a small end of the brush and we're gonna go right underneath the eyes to kind of lift and brighten that, okay? And then we're gonna take the iconic Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. Mine's in the shade one. And I love to use this over top of pores, like in the center of the face as like a finishing powder. So I'm just gonna do that, kind of apply it all over the center where I get the most oily throughout the day. Okay, I feel like things look pretty good. I'm just gonna take my translucent loose powder brush and buff over everything one last time. And now 
We gotta lock it in. This is my favorite setting spray. You guys know the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. It's just so good. So we're gonna set the face with this. Ooh, just gonna let that sink in. And then once it's halfway dry, I always go in with my sponge and just gently, gently press all the powders down and I press the setting spray into the skin more. I just feel like you get even more longevity when you do this. And then I don't think I have a clear brow gel from Charlotte Tilbury. Do they make one? I'm gonna check. Wait, yes they do. Brow Fix Sculpting Gel, do I have that? Do I have that? I don't think I have that. I don't know, <laughs> okay. I'm gonna look, but I don't think I have it. Okay, so it looks like I have the Legendary Brow Tinted Brow Gel. I don't have the clear one though. I need to try the clear one. Something tells me I have it somewhere, but I couldn't find it. So I'm just gonna throw this into the brows. I am such a clear brow gel girl that sometimes tinted brow gels scare me. Gosh, I feel like I have the clear one somewhere. I don't know. I'm racking my brain. Maybe I don't, but something tells me I do. Um, the concealer and brow drawer is something that I did not go through during my declutter series yet, so it looks a little wild. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna take my hair down. All right, you guys, there you have it. There's my updated full face of Charlotte Tilbury. I really enjoyed using some things that I, first of all, didn't use in the other video because they didn't exist yet. Second of all, things that I don't really get to dip into that much because Pillow Talk is so popular. I feel like I always reach for Pillow Talk products myself. So I really enjoyed kind of going for more of a green eye today. I hope you guys had fun watching. Let me know in the comments down below if you'd like to see more looks using all of Charlotte Tilbury's products because there's just so much I could do. I mean, we could do a lip focus look, an everyday look. I mean, I am down to do more Charlotte Tilbury videos if you guys want to see it. So just let me know. Also, I really love one brand tutorial like I said, so if there's another brand that you really want me to create a full face look with, let me know in the comments down below because I would love to do one brand tutorials more often, drugstore or high end, tell me what you'd like to see. But yeah, I love how it turned out. I feel like I look very red carpet ready. It's definitely um, a brand that is catered to just flawless skin, you know, like, and just a glamorous look. To me, it's a brand that like, I really enjoy dipping into when I go out. It's just something that I feel good wearing. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this look. I'm obsessed with the eyeliner specifically. I'm excited to keep wearing that, especially that matte color in the waterline. It might be my new favorite thing. <laughs> Thanks so much for sticking with me through this video. If you're still here, I love you so much. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all in my next video. Love you. Bye.